Hello, this is Will Dodd with Oconee River GYSTC, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to view a solar eclipse using the Booksmark feature in Stellarium. So, first, access the Bookmarks feature in Stellarium by clicking Alt-B, and we're going to scroll down in these bookmarks to Sun on August 21st, 2017. So this was the Great American Eclipse uh, that occurred in 2017. Uh, we're gonna be viewing it from Anderson, South Carolina. So I'm gonna double click that. It's gonna bring me to that time and location. And you can see the moon looks enormous at this point. Uh, we need to change in our settings, sky and viewing options. We need to go to solar system objects. We need to make the moon the normal size because it was nine times its actual size. So what I'm going to do is zoom all the way out and I'm going to right click so that I deselect everything. And you can kind of see there's like a little dot on the sun there. Uh, what I'm going to do is run time forward, pressing the L button on my keyboard uh, just to view this solar eclipse from far away first. So I'm going to press the L button, time is going to move forward and we should see some weird stuff occurring. So we start to see a star appear here. All right, at least I think that's a star. It might be a planet. <laughs> we will find out in a little bit. So time's running forward. We see another object in the sky. There we go. It looks dark and now it's getting light again. All right, so we just witnessed from far away a solar eclipse, right? So let me run time backwards. I'm going to press J to run time backwards. Whoop, went back through again. Let's zoom in on that because that probably looks really cool. So I'm going to select the sun. I'm going to press forward slash to zoom in. And already we can see the moon beginning to cover up the sun. So let me press L to run time forwards. And we should see totality right here. So you can see the sun's corona appeared for just a moment. But the great thing is, is we can watch that again. So I'm going to reverse time by pressing J and I'm going to pause time there. And I'm going to zoom out and we'll look at what objects we can actually see in the sky during this eclipse. So one thing I can do is turn on my planet labels and we can see Jupiter, Mars and Venus all in a line right there with the sun. And I can zoom in again and just kind of check that out. You see Mercury too was visible. Uh, and we can zoom in on any of those objects. Um, but one of the fun things you can do for sure is you can click on the sun and I can press control G to actually land on the sun. And I'm gonna press backslash to zoom way out. And I can click on the earth right here, press forward slash to zoom in on the earth and actually take a look at what's going on from the sun's perspective. So let me run time backwards by pressing J multiple times. And I'm gonna run time forward again. So you can see the moon is coming between the earth and the sun. <clears throat> and you can watch here as the moon shadow is cast across the United States. And you can just see that totality move down across to the Eastern seaboard there. So that's just a cool perspective that you can see in Stellarium. So I'm gonna zoom all the way back out. Um, but that is how you can use the bookmarks feature to view the solar eclipse of 2017. So uh, I'll be showing you more features along the way. So uh, I'll see you in the next video.